WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&Ps finish flat. And I mean flat. you got to love it, folks. So if we go over and take a look at the uh, S&P, what you're going to see out here, this is approximately the ninth day that we've been up here with no price spread whatsoever. Uh, you get well, six, six at this level, three right before it. Last high out here established was 309.99. Did 46 million shares. Bottom line, market, uh, you don't have buyers nor sellers uh, up at this area. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. Now, we're going to have NVIDIA come out with numbers after the close. And NVIDIA will throw some volatility into the NDX 100 as well as the NASDAQ. Um, bottom line is that they're looking for some uh, decent numbers out here. My take is that they're going to not get what they uh, are looking for because we're 209.79. Go back to the NDX 100, uh, same type of setup. Bottom line, sideways move, we're at 201.43. Small caps, Still can't catch a bid. Small caps uh, basically continue uh, to be the weakest indice out here. Uh, bottom line, 158.13. Uh, gold caught a bid, um, as did silver. We take a look at the uh, gold and silver market. They both right now, let's see, uh, gold actually has to get yeah, it got back into the larger range. Anything inside 1470 gets it inside the larger range. It did 311,000 contracts. You are at 1471. We take a look at the uh, silver market. Um, Silver, same type of setup inside SIZ. There we go. Uh, and we take a look at the silver market. Silver did catch a bid out here. Uh, and a couple of the silver equities, by the way, folks, are much stronger than the gold equity. So I expect silver is going to continue to catch a bid. Uh, silver is at the 1699. And oh, boy, that's, that's silver needs just a little more. 1698 0 uh, is the number to get it back inside where we, we are at the 1699. Now, notes and bonds continue not only to be consistent of what they say, uh, bottom line is that they just refuse lower price. They finished at their highs today. They have volume, they have price spread, and they got back inside the higher range on top of not going down into the breakout area. So guess what? Higher prices lower yields coming at us once again have a great night folks have a safe night and we look forward to speaking to you right back here eight o'clock nine o'clock tomorrow morning